The excitement these days is about immunotherapy, in particular a drug called pembrolizumab, which is a PD-1 inhibitor. This drug uh, blocks the, uh, the checkpoint um, immune signal, and so T cells have something called a PD-1 receptor. When bind to its proper ligand, PDL1, can cause a downregulation of the immune system. And by downregulating the immune system, the immune system is less able to find tumors and cause an anti-tumor effect. So when you block the checkpoint immune receptor, it can cause a, a ramping up of the immune system. And by doing that, it can cause symptoms that look like autoimmune disease. And so the four main organs that this drug, pembrolizumab, can target include the skin, the colon, the lung, and uh, the, the, um, the endocrine glands. So it can cause um, something called a colitis, and the itis just means inflammation of the organ that it is preceded by. Colitis is characterized by diarrhea or bloody diarrhea. Pneumonitis, which is inflammation of the lung, can cause shortness of breath. Um, dermatitis, which is inflammation of the skin, can cause a rash. And then um, uh, inflammation of the endocrine glands, such as the thyroid gland, um, can cause hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. And so if any of these happen, um, you should uh, have a conversation with your oncologist about possibly holding the drugs, depending on how severe the side effects are, and possibly giving steroids um, in the form of methylprednisolone or prednisone to help dampen um, the immune system and improve the, um, the symptoms that you're having.